her mat so she will. It's a place where our children come together to build a community of conversation and creativity. Together, death and hearing children. Learning. Achieving excellence. Dr. Shanbacker, this is my husband Robert, and our daughter Ella attends Tucker Maxson Elementary School. She's currently in preschool three. Think back when Ella was younger, and I just wanted to know what she sounded like. I'd never heard her voice. I just wanted to hear her voice. And today, I looked at my sweet, precocious, beautiful little girl, and I said, honey, can you just stop talking for a minute? <laughs> My name is Angela and I have a daughter, Reese, who's six, and a son, Ethan, who is three and a half, and both my children are hearing impaired. And um, we actually did not learn about my daughter's hearing impairment until she was three years old and she was originally misdiagnosed uh, with autism originally. And uh, when we learned about her hearing loss, we were fortunate enough to be connected to the Tucker Maxson School. Um, and we were given just some invaluable resources. Uh, that have helped us along our journey with hearing loss. And uh, when we started at the school, my daughter was three. She'd not been wearing any hearing devices at all. And um, she couldn't even say her own name. And I remember shortly after starting school, preschool, she received her hearing aids and um, she learned to say her name. And I'll never forget the first time that she was able to actually say that, I love you. <laughs> and um, for my daughter who hadn't been hearing for three years of her life to be able to be in school at six years old in the first grade age appropriate um, you know because of the Tucker Maxson School and the amazing staff and the teachers and the love and the care and support you know, she's on track academically. You know, she's able to have conversations with her peers. I can understand in her language. We can communicate. Whereas before, I wasn't sure if we would ever have that opportunity. We're uh, Amy and Brad Erland. Um, we have a daughter named Elizabeth, who is uh, three and a half years old, and uh, she has been at Tucker since she was three months old. We chose Tucker is because we, yeah, with our goal, we really wanted her to speak. You know, we and, and as well, we couldn't believe all the resources they had here. They have the audiologist on hand. They had the speech therapist. They had small group interactions. Um, even with um, early intervention, we had Pam coming out to our house three days a week and sometimes more. Sometimes we would come to the school and it would be about an hour that she spent time with us on all these different things we could do every week with her. And um, so, so she got her first hearing aids at exactly three months. They, Tucker Maxson gave us a pair of loaners that they had. and. Um, the, I mean, the one time I could probably remember is when they activated her at the school and they, um, the audiologist hooked up the hearing aids and um, you just kind of have that, I guess, moment where it's very emotional because um, the audiologist was, was clapping in front of her and... Ready? Do it loud so I can hear you. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Do it loud. Johnny in the by the the spider skin. Good job, Good job. That's so good. Yeah. 
The next sound you hear is I, I, I. Very good. Awesome. I'll be ready. Tucker Maxson, where dreams come true. You all have dreams for us kids. Tucker Maxson can be the start of all those dreams. It can start with a small sound, but it could echo to the stars. Help us make these dreams come true. Go for it. Let go of the rope. Oh, he's gonna fly! Ah! Gosh! <laughs> <laughs>